friends, it's Miss Naomi, and I am so glad that we get to be together again for our virtual VP kit. I really am grateful that we have the technology available to us to have this time together online. Today, we aren't just learning about one superhero. Instead, we are learning about a team of superheroes who had to overcome big obstacles in order to carry out their very tough mission. Now, our story starts back in the time when Jesus was alive. He was traveling around visiting various towns, meeting people and performing miracles. On one very memorable day, Jesus had healed a man who had leprosy, which was a really yucky skin disease. And he did it just by touching the man. Now, as news of this began to get around, a group of guys decided that their friend had to get to Jesus. You see, their friend was paralyzed. And in those days, there were no wheelchairs or power scooters like we have now. So if you were paralyzed, you laid on a mat in the center of town and only moved when someone was able to carry you somewhere. As Jesus arrived at Capernaum, he got settled into one of the houses there. And so many people wanted to see him that the house where he was quickly became filled with people. By the time the guys arrived carrying their paralyzed friend, there was no room for them to get close to Jesus. They had traveled on foot carrying their friend and they were determined to have him seen by Jesus. They knew that if they could just get him to Jesus, that he would be healed. They stood there but a moment before the idea came to them. The roof! If we bypass the crowds, we could lower him down through the roof. I'm sure the paralyzed man wondered if this was such a good idea. But then again, he really did need to get to Jesus. Now, it's important to note that roofs then were not the same as our roofs now. They were much flatter and made out of mud or clay tiles. The friends climbed up and began to work at moving the tiles and digging a hole. I can't help but wonder if the people inside could hear the progress of the demolition while they met with Jesus, and if so, did it create any commotion? The Bible doesn't really say, so I guess we'll have to use our imaginations on that one. So the hole gets large enough to fit the man and the friends bring him up to the roof and lower him and his mat down through the large hole. I imagine the crowd start to split to make way for his body being lowered through the hole so he didn't end up landing on them. I imagine the people were shocked at the very sight of it. I am guessing some were impressed by this feat of physics and engineering. Others were likely upset that this guy was going to get to see Jesus even though they had gotten there first. Either way, he now lay on the floor of his home, of this home. Jesus could not help but notice him. Jesus looked down at the man and could see that he had incredible faith. He could see that his friends also possessed this strong faith so much that they believed just getting him to Jesus would heal their friend. Jesus spoke to the man and said, pick up your mat and go home. He said it as plainly as your parents might ask you to go brush your teeth or come to the table for dinner. But I would imagine the people there stared in disbelief that Jesus would say to a man who was paralyzed to pick up his mat and go home. But in his heart of hearts, the man must have felt the difference or even just trusted that if Jesus had said to pick up his mat and go, that he would be able to. She supposed the crowd was, was quiet waiting on bated breath to see if the man could indeed walk. I do. And when the formerly paralyzed man did pick up his mat and go home, I imagine a loud <gasps> gasp emerge from the crowd. Maybe some cheering or clapping, but definitely a further realization that this man they called Jesus might really be all he claimed to be. It could be easy to see Jesus is the hero in this story, and honestly, isn't he the reason any of our heroes have been able to do what they did? But as you can understand, the paralyzed man would never have gotten to Jesus without the determination of his friends and the flexibility they possessed. 
As you go about your life, you too may be called to overcome a big obstacle. You may face challenges that only Jesus can fix. You may find yourself needing friends like we saw in our story today. Or you may be the friend that someone else needs. It may not be cutting through a roof, but whatever it is, God will equip you as you continue to trust him and grow in your relationship with him. So friends, how's your memory verse coming along? Have you been working on it? I sure hope so. In case you had forgotten to, there's still time to practice it. This week, I want to see some videos of you all saying your verse. You can do it together as a family, individual videos, or any combination of the people that live in your home. Our verse is found in Ephesians 6, 10 and 11. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Ephesians 6, 10 and 11. Well, it's been great to be together again for our virtual VP kids. I cannot wait to see you again soon. Bye.